Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to flash the LG G3 smart keyboard on your Galaxy Note 3. So the first thing you'll need to do is download the zip file uh, that's attached in the article, which you can check out below. Once the zip file is downloaded, don't unzip it. Just leave it as is on your device, and then boot up into recovery. Depending what recovery you have, there's different methods. Uh, there's the volume up home button and power button hold at the same time when your device is off. I have safe strap so for me all I have to do is reboot the device. And so when this comes up I just have to tap on recovery and here I am in recovery so I'm going to tap on install and from here I'm going to find my downloads folder. So just find your downloads folder and the zip file should be in there. And there you can see the zip file for the LG G3 keyboard. So you just tap on that. And to flash it, you just swipe. And that will confirm the flash. Uh, once you're done flashing it, which should take a few seconds, uh, less than a minute. It shouldn't take way too long. Um, then after that, you just go back home. And you reboot your device. And now I'm booted back up. So I'm going to go to settings go to controls, go to language and input, and put the LG keyboard as your default keyboard. As you can see, there it is. And so once we have that, we can start using the keyboard. So I'm going to go to messages, and you can see here that that is the LG G3 keyboard. It's much smaller than your stock keyboard, as you can tell. But luckily, you can change the size. So all you have to do to change the height of the keyboard is tap on the gear icon here at the bottom and you'll go to the settings. Uh, here you can change the input language, the keyboard height and layout. Um, you can enable or disable path input which is the swipe gestures. Uh, you can enable word suggestions and you can actually choose how you want your autocorrect if you want it mild, moderate or aggressive. If we go to keyboard height and layout here we have uh, more settings where I can change the bottom row keys. So if I tap on it I can change it. So right now it's settings. I can hit it to handwriting or voice input. Uh, here's the period. You can tap on that and change it to any of these. And that's a pretty nifty feature. Uh, here you can extend the keyboard by adding a numeric key on the top row. Um, keyboard height. And here we can change the height. So we just tap on this cursor and go up. Uh, when it turns red, that's the highest we can go. But that's already a pretty big keyboard and you still want to maintain some real estate on the screen. Uh, if you go down that's the smallest that you can have it and that's pretty tiny but if you have small fingers that should work and if you have bigger fingers then this should work. Uh, I like it somewhere in the middle. That's cool. And I get out of here and you can also change the keyboard theme. Uh, this is white. Uh, you can have S5, Android L, black and another kind of black. I like the white one so I'm just gonna keep that one. And then here at the bottom you can uh, enable split keyboard which allows you to spread the keyboard um, by pinching with your fingers and one handed operation. So now I'm going to show you guys a keyboard again and here it is. Uh, you can do swipe gestures to quickly enter in sentences uh, without lifting your finger. Another cool feature that's exclusive to the LG keyboard is that you can swipe on the space bar and that allows the cursor to move around here on the sentence. So if I want to delete the T from something, I can easily do that as opposed to tapping up here and trying to find it. And that's something that I struggle with sometimes. So that's a really cool feature to have on here. Uh, you can also tap on this. And here you have Apple emojis. So you can use those. Uh, let me show you guys the split keyboard finally. So if I change to landscape mode, you can see that the keyboard is now split. If I want to combine them, I just pinch in like that. And there it is. And I want to pinch out and that breaks it apart. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the full tutorial over at Gadget Hacks. All right, thanks, guys.